Hello my dear student, you had learned in previous class the properties of multiplications of an integer. So after that all the properties I think so you had revised in your uh, home. Today we are going to start some other properties of a multiplications. Last sum we had uh, discussed about the distributive property. Today I had got uh, some another examples we will learn about the, again the distributive property by using the suitable properties. First we will find the what are the product again the word product means it is a multiplication. So, find the product using suitable properties. Yes, here I had taken my own examples you can take your own integers and you can find out the product. Okay. So, this is the question 26 multiply by minus 48 plus inside the bracket is minus 48 multiply by minus 36. What do you see by this question? Yes, yeah, here 40 minus 48 and minus 48 are common. So, we have to take minus 48 as a common and we have to write 26 plus minus 36. What, which type of a property it is? Yes, it is a distributive property. We will see the steps of this. 26 minus multiply by minus 48 plus minus 48 multiply by minus 36. Here minus, minus 48 minus 48. So, we are taking as a common here outside the bracket multiplied by e, what is left over here is 26. So, we write here 26 inside the bracket and what is left over here is minus 36. So, I had written because its operation is addition. So, I had done here plus sign and here is minus 36. So, this is in my bracket. So, we had we are very familiar with our distributive property we are using this property so first our duty is to e explain the bracket so we will solve this bracket as 26 plus into minus is minus 36 means what will be here will be 26 minus 36 so you have to subtract the number that is 36 minus 26 is 10 your greater number is minus so we write as minus 36 and we are multiplying minus 48 means here we are having a both integers as a negative integers and you know the rule when we are having a two negative integers as a even we get an product as a plus. So, by multiplying this you know magic of 0 right 1 0 we are having here and 48 1 is a 48. So, your answer is 480. This is one example you can take your own uh, example I will go for another example very easy that is 7 multiply by 50 minus 2 again it is a distributive property so we have to multiply this 7 to 1 time to 50 and 7 to 1 time to 2 but our operation decays differ here it is a subtraction yes so we will write as it is this 7 multiply we will write as it is first we will solve this bracket. So, 50 minus 2. So, here is 50 minus multi multiply by 7 and here is multiply by 2. So, what will be here? So, multiplication of this we will get as 350 minus 14. This is 7 twos are 14. So, it is 336. So, we are using this distributive property. You can solve many different types of uh, examples by taking your own integers. Now, everyone understood that multiplication of integers. Now, we will go for uh, divisions of integers. Today, we have learned about the multiplications of integers. In previous class, we have uh, many different types of properties we had learned. So, today is the last property of integers is uh, divisions of an integers. So, division is an inverse operations of a multiplication. Yes, you know addition and the subtractions is a similar inverse. Here also we are knowing that division is a inverse operation of a multiplication. Let us see an example for whole numbers. You know very well the whole numbers. Yes, 
whole numbers are any simple number you can take I had taken as a 3 multiplied by 5. These are multiplication 3 multiplied by 5 is 15. So, what our we are going to learn is operation of a division of a integer. So, I am going to show you how we get a division and multiplication as an inverse operation. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3 and 15 divided by 3 is 5 because it is the inverse operations of a multiplication. Now, another example very simple orally you can answer this example as minus 12 divided by 2 is equal to minus 6. What division is very easy we have to reduce it to smallest form or you can say the table of 2 till you get the 12. So, 2 6 are 12. So, it is nothing but here we are doing multiplication and we are doing here is subtraction. So, both are inverse operation. Here minus 20 divided by 5 will be minus 4 because we have a minus as a negative integer over here. So, we have to write as a negative integer as a minus 4. Similar example is minus 32 divided by 4 is equal to minus 8. Here also what I had done? I had reduced it by 4, 4 8s are 32. So, it is minus 32. Minus 45 divided by 5. Very simple, very because all are very similar examples. So, you have to recite that table of 5 or you can reduce by 5 that is 5 9s are 45 and it is a negative integer. So, we have to write as negative sign over here. When we divide a negative integers by and positive integers here we had done here it is division of negative division negative integers divided by positive integers we divide them as a whole number. Yes, we simply divide we I told you previously also we just have to go for the recitation of a table or you can reduce it and then put a minus sign that is because we have a negative integer. So, we are putting as minus sign before before the quotient that where we are putting the minus sign when we get the answer as a quotient before that we are putting a minus sign. So, we thus get a negative integers. So, in short I can say when you divide a negative integers by a whole number or by a positive integers you get an answer as a negative integers. Now, now we will see the properties of a divisions of an integers. Yes, everyone remember that we had seen uh, properties of a multiplication, we had seen the properties of sub addition, subtractions. Now, is the last we will see the properties of a divisions of an integers. Very simple here we are dividing two negative integers and we are getting as an positive integers. So, at last when we do the divisions of a negative integers by a negative integers we get a positive integer. So, example is minus 8 divided by minus 4 is equal to 2. We can say that 4 1s are and here 4 2s are. So, we got as an 2. The result is an again integer. So, here in simple way I had showed you very and vice versa is possible for the integers their property of a divisibility is no. It is not for the division division, uh, divisions of a integers because here we will see an example here minus 4 divided by minus 8. What I had done? I had just changed the places, but we are not getting the same answer. We are not getting an integer as we are getting as fraction. Here I had written minus 4 upon minus 8 nothing but it is a division. I can reduce this both the sign that minus minus get cancelled, but at last I am going to have an fraction. So, result is not an integer. So, it is not possible for the property for the division that we will not get uh, every time as a result as an integer. Here we are give, giving one more example is minus 8 divided by 1. When you divide a minus 8 by 1, we get as an minus 8. You know very well. So, division by 1 is 1 sa. So, it is minus 8. 
So, in short we can remember the properties in the way that a divided by 0 is not defined, but 0 divided by a is equal to 0. This everyone have to remember is for a is not equal to 0. So, in short we had learned uh, properties of a divisions for the of the integers, it is not applicable every time that we will get a result as a negative integers. Now, we will see one more example here with a problem that uh, profit and the selling price of one of the shopkeeper who earns and profit of uh, rupees 1 by selling a 1 pen means what? One, rup one pen if the shopkeeper sells 1 pen he will get an 1 rupee as a profit and incurs a loss of 40 paise per pencil means what? When he get a loss of 40 paise when he sells a 1 pencil while selling a pencils of her old stock in a particular month she incurs a loss of rupees 5. In this period she sold 45 pence. How many pencils did she sell in this period? Because it is a word problem. First you have to write the statement. First try to understand what the statement means. The profit earned by a selling 1 pen is given as a rupees 1 because the earns a profit of rupees 1. So, we are writing as a rupees 1. Profit earned by a selling how many pence? 45. Yes, 45 pence is 45 multiplied by 1 will be always 45. So, we are writing as rupees 45 which we denote as an plus 45 because it is an profit. The total loss given, how we will indicate? Is, is equal to rupees 5 because it is given in a question only which we denote as a minus because when it is a loss we have to write minus 5. The profit earned plus loss incurs is equal to total loss. We have to find how many pencil did she sell in a period. So, first we have to find her loss. So, therefore, the loss incurs is equal to, to total loss minus profit earned. So, what is the total loss is given here is minus 5 and what will be her uh, earn will be profit earn is minus 45 is equal to minus 50 as it is minus minus we have to write as minus 50 because we are doing here a subtraction because there is a total loss minus profit earned. So, we are writing as an 45 as a plus as it is we had written, but here due to that subtraction because we are finding the loss, loss in curse. So, it is minus 50 is equal to 5000 paise. It is just I had convert into paise. The loss in curse by selling one pencil because is 40 paise while we write as a minus 40 paise because loss it is. So, we have to write as minus 40. So, number of pencils sold we have to find this is equal to minus 5000 divided by minus 40 is equal to you know 0 0 get cancelled and we have to reduce it because in the previous example we had learned that. So, uh, it will be 125 pencil. I think so everyone has understood. Please try to solve at home. Again read it and create your own word problem and try to solve it. Now, another word problem which is very interesting. Again we are in the integers. So, that will be the plus and the minus. So, an elevator descends into a mine shaft at the rate of 6 meter per minute means what you know elevator yes ok. So, mine coal mine you might be knowing yes the rate of 6 meter descent means it is going down. So, it is 6 meter per minute 
if the descent starts from a 10 meter above the ground what is above the ground ground will be suppose we are considering as a zero level how long will it take to reach minus 350 meter so it's what problem so we will go for writing a statement starting position of a mine shaft is given to us in the problem is 10 meter above the ground but it moves in opposite direction so it travels the distance of minus 350 it is given in the question because i already told you it is descending means going down uh, is opposite mm -hmm. of the going above minute below the ground so total distance covered by the mine shaft is equal to 10 meter minus inside the bracket minus 350 because already we had run the statement so we had taken the 10 meter from the statement and the minus 35 we have to find the difference so we are writing as the operation as minus is equal to 10 minus into minus is plus so it is 350 is equal to just simple addition this is 350 plus 10 is 360 meter now total take time taken to cover the distance of 6 meter by it is equal to 1 minute ok so time taken to cover a distance of 1 minute by it is written as a 1 upon 6 minutes therefore the time taken to cover a distance of 360 minutes is equal to 1 upon 6 into 360 is equal just what we have to do we have to reduce here we will get a 6 ones are and 6 six are 36 and 0 as it is so we will get here 60 then 60 ones are 60 it is 60 minutes or we can say it so 1 hour since 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour thus in 1 hour the mine shaft reaches minus 350 below the ground so i think so everyone understood is we are using only the operations of your addition and subtraction to find one simple conversion is that so please try your this sum once again now simple evaluate each of the following very simple sums you, you have to give me the oral answer of this so whatever we had learned in the previous one or two examples similarly i had put up some simple which you have to give me oral answer so minus 30 divided by 10 what will be the answer oh yes you are right is minus 3 because 10 1 ja and 10 3 ja similarly it is 50 divided by minus 5 again here i had written division by minus 5 here i was having a simple whole number i am having here a negative integer so here 5 1 ja 5 1 ja so it is 10 here so it will be your answer is minus 10 similarly i had done some e example here and suppose it is given in the blank so you have to know how to fill the blanks so here 369 divided by is equal to 369 what we will write here to get an 369 yes we will write as 1 because when you divide by 1 we get and whatever is the integer all the whole number we get the same answer here minus 75 divided by dash is equal to minus 1 what to get minus 1 what should be i do here yes i have to write as 75 you know 75 ones are 75 because it is the negative integer i have to write here before the number i have to write a minus sign here another example minus 87 divided by dash we have to find here as a positive integer so again what we which number we will divide here we will divide by minus 1 yes minus 1 because minus minus get cancelled and we want as positive 87 that is 87 here what will be the number we have to divide as minus 87 divided by 1 is minus a so each and every one understood this what are the simple filling the blanks you can create your own and you can write here
So, please, please solve the different types of examples. Division of integers. For this, consider the following situation. Sushma is planning to give soft toys as return gift to her four friends on her birthday. She has 12 toys. Let us distribute these toys equally. We see that each friend gets three toys. This process is called division. Thus we say that 12 is divided by 4 is equal to 3. Let us have some examples. Here, positive 12 is divided by positive 3. We get positive 4. Similarly, on dividing negative 10 by negative 5, we get positive 2. Let us now see the division of one integer from another integer of different sign. When two integers are of different sign, the quotient must be negative. Let us have some examples here. Positive 8 is divided by negative 2. We get negative 4. Similarly, on dividing negative 18 by positive 3, we get negative 6. Now let us discuss different properties of division on integers. Let us now discuss the division by 1. For this consider any integer say positive 3 and divide it by 1. We see that we get the same number. Therefore, when we divide any integer by 1, we get the same integer. We will now discuss the division by 0. Observe that for any integer, say positive 2, division of positive 2 by 0 is not defined and division of 0 by positive 2 gives 0. Hence, 0 divided by any integer gives quotient as 0 and any integer divided by 0 is not defined. Let us take an example. Suraj has rupees 10. His mother gives him rupees 5 and he buys 4 toffees, 4 rupees 2 each. Again, he gets rupees 20 from his father and he spends rupees 15 on an ice cream. How many rupees does he have now? The total amount of money earned by Suraj is equal to rupees 10 plus rupees 5 plus rupees 20 which is equal to rupees 35. Now the total cost of toffees paid by Suraj is 4 multiplied by rupees 2, which is rupees 8. He also spends rupees 15 on an ice cream. Hence, in total he spends rupees 8 plus 15, which is rupees 23. Now we know that left money is equal to earned money minus spent money. Therefore, the amount of money left with Suraj is rupees 35 minus rupees 23, which is rupees 12. Integers are the set of whole numbers and their negatives. They have no fractional part and no digits after the decimal. Following are the operations performed on integers. These are the properties of addition and subtraction of integers. Integers are closed under addition and subtraction. If A and B are two integers then the result of a plus b is also an integer. Similarly, the result of a minus b is also an integer. Integer are commutative under addition. Integers are associative under addition. The integer 0 is the additive identity. For any integer a, its additive inverse is minus a. In multiplication, the product of two positive integers is a positive integer. The product of a negative integer and a positive integer is a negative integer. The product of two negative integers is a positive integer. The product of even number of negative integers is a positive integer. The product of odd number of negative integers is a negative integer. Properties of multiplication of integers are Integers are closed under multiplication. Multiplication is commutative for integers. 
the integer 1 is the identity under multiplication. Integers are associative under multiplication. Integers also show a property known as distributive property as shown. In division, when a positive integer is divided by a negative integer, we get a negative integer as quotient and vice versa. Division of a negative integer with another negative integer gives a positive integer as quotient. For any integer a, a divided by 0 is not defined and a divided by 1 is equal to a. Okay children, we had learned all uh, integers and their properties and now we will see where we will do the applications of an integer. So, we will have a short a clip here, slideshow and we will learn all the integers which are there in uh, just we will go through it. Integers are widely used in uh, running a business that is a pro positive integers are represented by profit and the negative integers are represented by loss. When the income of a business ex exceeds is its expenses then the business is said to be in a profit because your parents also do the business because they always try to get a profit in their business. So, how they do that income sh should not be more than uh, expenses. An annual income of a uh, 95,000 dollar and uh, expenses of an 80,000 dollar. So, what will be the pro what will be the pro pro produce of a finally the ta by tailing this means we have to do the subtractions of an income to the expenses. So, here 95,000 minus 80,000 will be or 10,000 will be the profit because everyone try to do the business with a profit. Now, integers are widely used in a running a business by positive integers and uh, representing a post profit while negative integers representing a loss. We will see a small graph over here which is display here. So, when expenses of a business exceed means which gets more means when you have uh, more expenses then it will be in a loss. Its income the business is said to be in a loss. So, here the business was very good here expenses goes on increasing. So, there is a loss. So, we have seen the graph that we are getting a loss because our expenses got increased. So, we have to not do the such type of a business where we get a profit that type of a business we have to do. An annual income of a 75,000 and uh, expenses of uh, 85,000 here oh no we have to not do this type of a business because we are getting a loss 10,000 rupees loss. So, we will have uh, only the profit while doing the business. My dear children everyone know where we are using applications of uh, integer what we had learned in our class today that is uh, all types of multiplication and division in of integers and that is property. So, applications also we do in our daily life. In short, I had explained you, I had summarized you the whole chapter and just you have to solve it by your own. If you have a practice, you will get all the sums very easily. So, please my dear children try to solve the exercise and whatever I taught in the class today's concept, please read it out again and revise it. So, all of you have a good day. Thank you my dear children. Keep it up.